five that coming with a dictionary or manual that simply means we have to fear sometimes we have to make mistakes sometimes and how we come out of those failures and those mistakes is on us it's literally on you <music> So hey guys welcome back to the channel welcome back to the channel in today's video as you can see from the title i will be going over some little pointers some little methods some little tips whatever you want to call it that you can go over once you're feeling sad and don't feel like getting out of bed this is what this video is going to be about so let me jump in so i'm sure a lot of us have our moments where we feel like not getting out of bed we feel like the bed is way more comfortable than getting out of and going out there to figure out what to do or can't even figure out the next step i am here to give you guys this motivation whether you want to take it through this new week that is coming up or you want to do it whenever you're feeling sad you want to replay this video whatever whenever however i am here to give you guys a little teeny weeny story of course you know i'm gonna drop in a little story and i'm gonna give you guys some positive steps that you can take that has helped me through such so two days ago i was in bed i am normally a morning person and i did not feel like getting up at all like that morning was just like mm -mm. i'm gonna lie in my bed I'm getting out my bed and that's that period um yesterday the same thing happened didn't get out of bed two days ago until around 10 going close see 11 yesterday it was like 12 and i was like no no way this can happen so what i did i got out of it got myself together listened to a good playlist that i had made before and I started declustering the place and I started doing this. I started doing it. I was just holding a whole vibe with the playlist. And that's basically what helped me through that moment, right? So for the whole day, so there are gonna be points where you're gonna be like, there's no hope to get out of it. Especially now that we're in the fall season. And fall season is when they um, statistically proven that people are more depressed than stressed during this time because basically outside is just bleaky and most of the time it's overcast it looks overcast and it looks gray and gloomy and the trees are basically dead there are just sticks outside and it is not look good and even when the sun comes up you're not really feeling the heat of the sun and the sun don't really make much difference it might make outside look brighter but you don't feel brighter in this time during the fall winter season and the worst part about it too now is that we're in a pandemic where a lot of people have lost their jobs especially once this whole crisis hit a lot of people lost their jobs and so on top of a fall winter gloominess a lot of people have job loss gloominess as well so you have so many things to think about and people are thinking about a lot of things we think about our future our plan our future and we just want to be in the future but life is not moving really the way we want it to move and so mm, yeah we get anxiety we get stressed out we get depressed and it's just a whole bunch of things but this video is here to give you guys some tips that can help you in the present present moment and can help you throughout your own struggle and situation so the first thing as i said earlier in a couple of clips ago that i was done and out and a playlist was what helped me the first thing is a playlist create a really hyped up playlist like a really happy playlist so i know with apple music you can name your place i don't know about other devices but for apple once you create a playlist you can name it whatever you want to name it you can put as much music into that playlist and that's what i would recommend for a lot of people so create a happy playlist you can name it happy uplifting whatever you want to name your playlist name your playlist 
playlist how the happy playlist because we do have our moments where we're just sad and we just don't know what to get to what that sad means and the first thing i can tell you is create a happy playlist nice uplifting boom boom music that will change and as bob marley said i think it's bob marley if it's not bob marley then i will really quote who said it but you know i don't want to listen quotes but i don't really know who said it but anyway as the quote said when music hits you you feel absolutely no pain so what will it hurt you to make a nice little playlist uplifting good music if you want to go gospel if you want to go r&b like the army back in the days were like Ooh. so you want to go back to those whatever your genre of music is make a playlist that's just gonna uplift you and that you can rock out to and you can rap to and you can have a good time with yes the second method or the second step or the second tip that i would recommend is to have a gratitude book now i recommend more of a book than to write it in your notes like type it in your notes because with the notes, you're gonna go on either your iPad or your phone, and you're gonna be distracted by emails, and you're gonna be distracted by text messages, and you're gonna be distracted by so many different things that you probably forget what you went into the device to do. Yes, so I would recommend to get a little notebook and just write down every morning that you wake up after you have your whole conversation with God and whoever your higher being is. You just write in your gratitude book what you're grateful for that morning. And you can keep a log of all the things that you have been grateful for. And you can check, go over them now. At the end of the month, all that you had been grateful for. The third thing is to do affirmation. Do they work? They might not work in the first week. Mm -hmm. They might not work the second week. They might not feel like they're working the first or the second week. But continue to do it until what you are affirming feels and becomes a part of you. That you don't even have to look on your proper mirror or look on your paper that you write it down on or look in your notes. But it's just registered in your head and you can just get up and you can just affirm to yourself and you affirm things positive things and once you start affirming those positive things you start to feel positive and you start to feel what you are affirming so the other thing is affirm affirm and affirm positive things so the fourth thing is challenges now i would recommend if you're a pinterest person yes Go on Pinterest to look up like two weeks challenge, self-care challenge, or you can do four weeks self-care challenge if you're not a Pinterest person, which is easy to sign up on Pinterest. Pinterest has so many ideas. Wow. Why would that be could be really? Anyway, um, Pinterest has so many ideas. You can even go on the internet too if you're not familiar with Pinterest. You can go on the internet, do research and look up different challenges. If you want like a two weeks challenge, if you want a four weeks challenge, self care challenge, you do them challenge. Those will keep you really focused and you can get up and have this mindset that yeah, I have this to do, I have this to complete today, I have that to complete today and you can keep track of all that you will do. So the fifth thing is talk to a friend or even a family member somebody that you know you can have a positive conversation with that once you leave that conversation you are left with something positive something to think upon that is really good somebody that can bring a whole level of comfort to you now a lot of us have either friends that are too busy I will have friends that you know are not so positive but we must have at least one or two person that we can call and we can have a conversation with talk about different things talk about life you never know like once we're going through a situation sometimes we feel like shutting out from people but that's when we really that's probably our body telling us that we really need somebody to talk to and they have a saying that says no man is an island and no, so no man is an island and no man stands alone you can't do everything by yourself you can't you you probably 
be as strong as ever because i am a type of person that i just feel like i am the strongest person and i never felt like yo i needed anybody's help but as you get older and you go through situations you realize that you can't stand by yourself you cannot take your burden by yourself look at jesus took his cross and he got help to take his cross and he's a creator of the world right and he had to get help to take his cross so we don't need to feel like we can do this by ourselves even if you don't know what to talk about like me i don't know a lot of times i have conversations that i'm on the phone for hours and i never knew what to talk about but we end up having some long conversations so talk to a friend or a family when you're done with that conversation you will feel too much. will be i'm gonna combine those two journal or read a book i think the journal could be in the gratitude um book as well section but whichever one you want but i will say journal and read journal and read so this is for persons that love to read and love to write i love to write not so much on the reading part but i will read a few things um so if you are a reading person get a good book we have so many apps out there right now that we can download some of them are free some of them you have to pay for you have to pay a little thing or you can even go into bookstore you have so many bookstores out there that you can go out there and buy a new book and just read read they say when you read you're in a whole different world a whole different dimension and what that. so read reading can uplift you too number seven will be declustering your home and your social media you now presently i am not on social media just my business page that's on social media right now if you have a social media decluster your social media decluster your home once you do those things you feel different you feel better you feel refreshed especially when your home is declustered and clean and smelling good with candles. whereas if you buy some good candles or you have them plug in your fresheners you get some good ones like i bought some nice one i that was burning um a bath and body one the other day it it totally finished within like three four days yes because i burn it every day and it smells so good so imagine you day closer in your home you're cleaning your homes and your house smell good and nice that gives you that refreshing feeling to just want to sit probably some ice cream probably read a nice book probably just put your foot up and watch a nice movie and you just have this nice feeling and sense of goodness yes so do you close to your home and your social the next one is don't be afraid to fail no no this one is hard especially for my perfectionist people yes i am one such person like i feel like everything needs to be really in order at all times and i, I don't want to say i don't like to fail but nobody likes to fail but sometimes the failure is what teaches us like we did not come into this world with a manual like all right look at for instance you want to know a new word where you head to you head on the internet or if you're old school you head in the dictionary the physical dictionary and look up a word what it means and where it probably is originated from and all that good stuff yes life don't come with a dictionary it don't come with a manual but life not coming with a dictionary or a manual that simply means we have to fail sometimes we have to make mistakes sometimes and how we come out of those failures and those mistakes is on us it's literally on you you can't blame somebody else you just have to take your failures how we take our failures is really on us like if you're gonna look at only the negative 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 aspect of it you're not going to be positive you're not going to see anything positive about it but all i can say to you is do not be afraid to fail fail learn from your failures if you fail you write down your failure 
the picard what happened what went wrong what was the positive water with it what was the negative water with it right so that negative happened all right hmm what am i gonna learn from that negative okay so what's the positive out of it all right so i learned this okay i learned that right all right i know that i'm not supposed to do that and you know if you look at the you break it up in syllables like when we're growing up we used to hear about syllables and we have to break up the word to really pronounce the word yes that's what she did. so how we break up words in syllables when we were little babies or little kids yes yeah little kids babies mm -hmm. but when we were smaller when we were younger we used to have to break up the words and syllables yes and we used to have to pronounce it and so we could pronounce the word fully especially even though when you're older you still have some words that are just super long like look at the longest word in the dictionary the, like, 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 look at the word the word is long it's like single words put together and if you can't pronounce it you break it up in syllables so that's how life is you look at a fear situation a mistake you write it down you look at the positive and the negative and you look at what you're gonna take from that situation life is an experience life is an experience and we're not gonna always have a positive and perfect life but we have to try and the final point for this video is don't live too much in your future now a lot of us are planning our futures like i know i'm planning my future yeah let me just say that i'm planning my future but i can say to you that live more in your present i re i read a book some years ago that that's just one thing i took from the entire book it was like an affirmation book and i was like every one of the affirmations i was thinking i took from it it said live in your present don't live in your future i'm gonna see if i can find that quote and put it in the video right here if i don't find it then it won't be here but if i find it it will be there so basically it's saying that if you're living in your future you're gonna have whole bunch of anxiety if you're living in your past basically you're going to stress yourself out but live in the moment enjoy what you have if you only have one bottle of water thank god you have one bottle of water i see a lot of people that probably do see water you know but they're drinking dirty water and you scorn at that water and you'll be like ew who does that because that's what a lot of people have but you probably have a one bottle of water you probably have one little pear to eat you probably have one little piece of bread to eat be grateful for that live in your moment enjoy your moment do not stress about your future your future is over there and if you stress and live in your future you're gonna just fill yourself with anxiety and we don't want anxiety 2022 right yes so live in your present plan your future but don't go ahead in your future I hope this video helps somebody yes and i hope it brings some encouragement to somebody because i know that it's going to be encouragement to me because sometime when i feel down i'm going to remember what i said to you guys and i'm going to do all these things because we well, let's just admit it we have our moments where we just like don't feel like doing anything at all but it's our life and we have to take our life in our hands and live a better and positive life because not every day you're gonna be sunshine and blue and nice and beautiful we have to make it we have to make our sunshine when it's dark and overcrowded and you know yeah and don't look right we have to make our own sunshine yes so we have to make our own sunshine and we have to do what we gotta do to keep our heads together keep our bodies together our mental health together because mental health is really really important and don't sit in the mess and wonder how to get out the mess when you do have the resources to get out of it if you get what i'm saying I don't feel like all hope is gone. If you're gonna ask for help, don't feel like you're weak or you're less than. Because even Jesus, even the creator of the world, came to earth, died for our sins, and he felt neglected and rejected. Yes. And he felt like the Father left him. And if Jesus could cry out to the Father, 
and say why have you forsaken me imagine little people like us so don't feel like you have to always have it together and you always have to feel like yes i gotta be strong for myself sometimes i probably need to cry out to jesus i sometimes need to call a friend and say listen i just want to vent i just want to talk or you write down your feelings or something but do not feel like you're weak and you're the only person that has ever been through this situation Yes. Also, I want you to comment down below if you have ever been through any of these situations. Like, you have ever been through any sad, gloomy, out there, don't want to get out of any situations. Um, what were some of your things? If some of these things that I've mentioned have helped you, comment them down below and let me know. And if you have anything to add to it as well, comment down below and let a girl know because I know all of us have been through our situations even a person that is the happiest can be the most sad person i see people that just seem so outright positive sometimes sometimes they they are sad too so comment down below let's all share and get into the conversation and just have a great blessed and positive 2022